สวัสดีค่ะ Today we are making sourdough ramen Japanese noodle So what we have here is 500 g r a m of bread flour or AP flour This one is 140 g r a m of sourdough starter 55 g r a m of water 5 g r a m of salt 7.5 g r a m of baking soda Let's get started. We're gonna add water into the pot. Is it too hot? Too hot. I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm gonna put the salt and baking powder into the pot, and we're gonna stir until everything combine. Not in the hot water. Uh, not in the bubble water, it's just in the hot water. So just let everything combine. To mix this dough, I'm gonna use food processor. Now I'm gonna add some, some of the water. The texture of the dough is a little bit crumbly. Now we transfer the mixture into the big bowl and add the water. Another 30 g r a m of water. Another 20 g r a m So I just add more extra 50 g r a m of water. Okay, this is another 20 g r a m more of water into the flour. I'm gonna cut into four portion. Into the container and cover with the wet towel. As you can see, the dough is very, very uh, stiff. I'm gonna use that is the right texture for ramen, and I'm gonna use pasta roller to uh, roll it out and uh, knead the dough in the same time to make nice consistency that I need, and also cut the dough into a nice ramen noodle. Before I put my dough into pasta roller, I use my rolling pin to uh, flat the dough out. So this way, when I rolling in my uh, machine, it help a lot. So I'm not break my machine with thick dough. Go to number zero first. And we try to roll it out. Like that. 
adjustment. I'm gonna go to number two. So let's see, step over. Now number two. Now we're going to go number four. Chain to number four. Oops, sorry. Now I'm gonna go to number five, which is the last time I'm gonna roll it out. On number five. Now before I uh, cut into the pasta, I just cut the uh, long strip into three pieces. So later on when we serving the pasta, it's easy to serve. Now this is my favorite part. I use a thick noodle uh, cutter because I like to have a thick one. Later on, I'm gonna make yakisoba. This is texture is right for yakisoba. And when you cut it out like that, you need to cover the uh, noodle with some flour. I just use normal flour, uh, my cooking flour, uh, my uh, bread flour or all purpose flour. Just check it out the extra flour cover. Uh, all we need is just to cover the noodle to not make them stick to each other. And then uh, roll it in your hand. It's come with practice. So the way we're doing that is going to help the pasta to not stick together. We're going to dry it in the uh, room temperature for three days. After three days, you turn around, so dry another side for another three days. And then after that, you uh, put into a uh, Ziploc bag and then you can keep it for six months. Uh, after you uh, have a dry noodle, you can boil it for about 16 minutes. So this is my ramen noodle, sourdough version. I hope you like it and I hope you can follow this instruction and make yummy ramen at home. Uh, it's, it tastes different from normal pasta because the ramen add uh, baking soda in it and the way we mix the dough you know it we add the water uh, we add the baking soda in different part uh, and then we make the crumble so that is create very nice texture and also create very nice flavor for ramen that is a different from pasta
Now we're gonna cook our pasta. I just boil the water and add a little bit of salt. And then I cook my pasta until I like uh, the texture that I like. This one, it take about five minutes. And uh, then I just uh, put the coal into the cold water. Basically, I just wash out the extra flour that I uh, coat the noodle. This one is delicious. I hope you guys uh, love this video and follow this menu or this pasta or this noodle. And uh, I see you for the next video. Thank you for watching. Enjoy cooking.